New year. New change, and I haven't really heard back from Strawberry and the others yet. It has been weeks. But I do know that they are heading to Canada in the next week, but for now I'm going to head downstairs for breakfast. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, son. Did you eat breakfast? Yes, I was wondering. Do you know where Dad's at? He's at his new job. He gave me his new working hours and he now gets off of work very late now. Oh darn, I was expecting for us to both play golf together. I mean, he is mostly off on the weekends, so maybe you two can do something together on the weekends. Since he is normally off on the weekends. I mean that's true. Also, what do you think of our upgraded looks son? It looks great, I feel very nice in my new clothes. Although I sort of look like a gangsta, although I'm turning 18 this year. Uh, yeah. Don't tell your father. By the way, there is no school this week. There's a new variant going on called Florona. Which is where you can get both Omicron and the flu and not to mention. That there's a huge spike in Omicron cases too. Especially back home in California. So there's going to be no school this week. WNF this means that you will be doing distance learning this week. Oh darn. I really wanted to go to school and see all of my friends there. But hey, that still doesn't mean you can't go and do missions with Strawberry and her crew. I have no problem with that. I just need to have Strawberry and them go over the safety protocols with you and you need to be very distanced with them is that what you wanted to ask me? Yes. I haven't really done missions with them for weeks, ever since they returned back from Toronto and from when they went to New York to do the ball drop. I haven't really heard from them for a while. But I've heard that they are going to Calgary next week. That's what I've heard from Strawberry because she told me on the phone. Well, I can't drop you off right now because they are on their way to Calgary from Montreal from attending Elias D's birthday party. But I'll let them know that you want to come with them next time. And if you want me to come with you to assist and help you guys out on one of your next missions. Let mommy know and I'll fly out there to assist you guys. Okay mom, anyways, I'm going to go upstairs and clean my room. Okay Bradley. Remember, we leave in 45 minutes. Okay mom. Hey guys. Before I end this video. Sorry if I didn't work on this video a lot went down when the new year started. To start off, I got into how water in my former friend's natural disaster streams that he did on New Year's Day for inviting two of my friends to my friend's private Roblox server that I was in without his permission, which led to the entire streams talking about me for 5 minutes which my friend had to leave me off with a warning and did allow me to stay in the game. But he did made it to I was allowed to join any of his private gaming servers last week after I friended one of my friends on Roblox while he was playing a game in his private Discord server that day, but I'm not going to go into full details about it. Thanksfully my former friend didn't delete his New Year's natural disaster stream to where I did it on. But it wasn't as much drama that wasn't necessary for that stream to be deleted. So I'm not going to go into full details about it since I already made two videos about it last week already, which shifted my gears is that 30 minutes after he ended the stream. I was added in a DM group that was made out of me when those users in that group thought I was talking smack about my mother when I wasn't. And then he messed around yelling and raging at me when he got sick and tired of me talking about my friends all the time and such and he raged at me after I was done explaining my side of the story. And this led to a huge argument going on which four of my friends tried to break up. Thankfully we all left the group even myself before things even worse, but the very next day on January 2nd, when I was on my way home from a trip that I was on that I would not say, one of my besties, which you know is the leader of my Spies of Detectives series got into a huge 10 minute argument with me on Discord for constantly copying and pasting shit on her DMS. Which led to one of my friends despising me. Which led to me making two videos about it. Including this one. 
Two of my friends had their YouTube accounts hacked Thursday. There was a huge ruckus going on one of my friend Foolish's streams Friday. Which led to the entire stream being put on private and then deleted. The situation that happened on his stream wasn't as bad. They were just giving two of my friends advice to stop doubting themselves and actually help them out towards the end. So that went out really well, which led to my friend doing a quick 30 minute stream on Sunday to end the drama and occurring drama from occurring on his streams. And then went live a quarter to one last Sunday in my area. Since we both live in the same time zone. But as for everything else, there was just non-stop drama going on against both my former friend and my friend, which thankfully, that was resolved. And just last Saturday, my former friend accused me for inviting my friend to one of my friend's streams without permissions when I actually didn't. Thankfully, I told my friend that I invited him to his streams and he understood it. But this led to me not being invited to a stream on Vittorio's birthday due to it, and also due to that argument me and my bestie had. I had to cancel both one episode and one video with her in it due to that. I'm not going and say which episode and which video. But those videos have not been announced yet. But I'm just here to let you know. Also that Calgary episode will be delayed for a week since this weekend is my birthday weekend and I kind of want to spend this week to myself. And I think it's best that I don't mention this copy and pasting situation even further due to that argument that me and her got into last week not only for that reason, but it was due to that huge argument we got into on Discord on my friend Red Baonotu's birthday and such and for another dumb reason too. And she said it was for texting her on Discord every day when there's literally no problem with that. And I even had to admit to her that I had to call her out several times for the way she raged at me and yell at me on my DMS and such just because me copying and pasting messages and such on her DMS. But none of that was necessary at all, if her parents even saw her doing that. She would end up being in a lot of trouble for that. Or even grounded. But for one of those times I did make those videos about it. It was only to give her advice and criticism. It was not made for people to attack or or go after her like how most call out and exposing videos are. Although I don't make those videos, but she understood and she said she won't do it again. But I did have to cancel 5 episodes of the Spies of Detectives and Bradley at the time because of it because I didn't want to make any of that in an episode since I have a zero tolerance against arguing and fighting against other users and such in my videos since that's against the guidelines and such. That's why that episode in February that I was planning to release in February the big fight was cancelled due to the situation going on against Tim Ianter and Strawberry at the time regarding and regarding what he said on a stream yard that I was on with him, and I did not want to make any of that into an episode. Especially for the other episodes that I mentioned, but we're on good terms now. So there's nothing to worry about. Anyways. I'm going to get my other videos and episodes out of the way now. Along with one more birthday special for a former friend of mine. I hope you guys understand. But don't worry. Boris for Hire 280 will be out towards the end of this month. There will also be a birthday special for Venomous Soup coming out Wednesday morning. So stay tuned for that. But anyways. This is me Elias D signing off.